morning students welcome to the class i am teaching you chapter 5 respiratory system in the previous class i have explained you about the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration and today i am going to explain you about the human respiratory system the respiratory system is what allows us to breathe and exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen The human respiratory system is a series of oxygen responsible for breathing in oxygen and expelling out carbon dioxide. The primary organ of the respiratory systems are lungs, which carry on this exchange of gases as we breathe. Exchange of gases, carbon dioxide we breathe out and taking in oxygen gas. The respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help you to breathe. It includes your airways, lungs, and blood vessels. The muscles that power your lungs. are also part of the respiratory system these parts work together to move oxygen throughout the body and clean out waste gases like carbon dioxide from the body now dear children let's study each and every part of the respiratory system nose is the muscular part which is situated on the face above the lips it detects odor molecules and help filter and warm the air we inhale the upper respiratory system or respiratory tract consists of the nose and nasal cavity the pharynx and the larynx these structures allows us to breathe and speak nose is the prominent structures between the eyes that serves as the entrance to the respiratory tract and contains the olfactory organs it provides air for respiration serves the sense of smells conditions the air by filtering warming and moisturizing nose is the only part of the respiratory system that is visible externally air passes through the nasal cavity mucus and hairs trap any particles in the air the air is also warmed and moisturized so it won't harm delicate tissues of the lungs pharynx or in greek it is also known as throat is shaped like a funnel during respirations in contact air between the larynx and trachea trachea is also known as windpipe and the nasal and the oral cavities pharynx chamber serves both respiratory and digestive functions thick fibers of muscles and connective tissues attach the pharynx to the base of the skull and surrounding structures larynx this is your larynx the lower portions of the pharynx leads to larynx larynx is your voice box larynx have three important functions first it protects the airways from choking on the material in the throat second to regulates the 
flow of air into our lungs and the production of sounds used for speech means when we talk larynx help us to speak trachea also known as windpipe serve as a passage for air moistens and vomits while it passes into the lungs and protect the respiratory surface trachea is a cartilaginous tube that connects the larynx to the bronchi of the lungs allowing the passage of air and so is present in almost all air breathing animals with lungs the trachea extends from the lungs and branches into two primary bronchi the bronchi comes into existence after the division of the trachea this is your trachea and when it's divided it turns into bronchi the bronchi are conductive passages of for airs found in the lungs these bronchi are in the lungs they are divides or trachea is divided into the bronchi and these bronchi are in the lungs this is your one part of the lung a bronchus is a passage or a airways in the respiratory system that conducts air into the lungs the first bronchi to branch from the trachea are the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus also known as the primary bronchi the bronchi and the bronchus are the part of the conduction zone of the respiratory system the bronchi are the airways that leads from the trachea into the lungs and then branch off into progressively small structure units they reach the alveoli the tiny sacs that allow for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the lungs they allowing the passage of air from the external environment into the lungs where gases exchange take place there is a pair of lungs in the human body the lungs are found in the chest on the right and left side they are protected inside the rib cage lungs are a pair of sponge air filled organ located on either side of the chest they are covered by a thin tissue layer called the pleura the same kind of thin tissue lines the inside of the chest cavity are also called pleura a thin layer of fluid act as a lubricant allowing the lungs to slip smoothly as they expand and contract with each breath thank you student in the next class i am going to explain you about the exchange of gases taking place in lungs